For all you gaming Star Wars fans out there, I think last night, today, probably isn't a great day with the news that came out that the Embracer Group has ultimately halted all production on the remake of KOTOR. This game is not being worked on in any way at any studio. Nice, cool. Yeah, let's just fuck up the brand a little more, you know? Like the few things people have left, let's just scrub it away, let's just fuck it up. Sounds good, man. How hard is it to make a goddamn game? Just a remaster. I don't get it. I totally sympathize with Star Wars Theory here, and I have to say, I was looking forward to this game. However, they did not use the words remaster no, no, the words for this game was remake. And as we all know, Star Wars continues to be woke. Now, don't take my word for it. Go check this article out from 2001. Disney Star Wars looks to continue its woke approach to the material with the remake of the popular Knights of the Old Republic video game which follows the release of the new trilogy, which tanked the franchise and saw merchandise sales crash, as well as the firing of Gina Carano from The Mandalorian. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic writer attacks fans. Twitter user DataRacer points out that the Knights of the Old Republic video game remake is being written by Sam Max, who apparently isn't a big fan of the original game. As tweets unearthed reveal, Mag stating it's not a favorite. The official info released by Lucasfilm sees the developers offering the remake requires a talented team that understands the original game at a deep level. But we see that probably isn't the case in Sam Mags, who obviously isn't a big fan of the original. And you should definitely go check out and read that 2021 article on the comic book news. All right, let's head over to Bounding Into Comics, where we will find out what is going on right now. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake reportedly not being worked on right now. A new report claims that the previous announced Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake is no longer being worked on at any studio. This new report comes from Jeff Grubb at Giant Bomb, who stated on a recent live stream, this game is not being worked on right now, just full stop. This game is not being worked on in any way at any studio. The game was originally announced by Lucasfilm Games, PlayStation, and Aspire back in 2021 during a PlayStation showcase. At the time, Aspire-led producer Ryan Treadwell revealed the game would be a complete remake. Treadwell was asked, is this like a remaster of the original game? What is going on here? He responded, it is so much more, Sid. This is a complete remake of the beloved Star Wars story. For Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake, we are rebuilding from the ground up while maintaining that integrity and story from the original. Oh, shit! At the end of September, all of the promotional trailers announcing the game were privated on YouTube. A Sony spokesperson informed Kotaku that the reason was a license expiration. As part of normal business, we delist assets with licensed music when the license expires. At the time, the explanation did not make any sense given the PlayStation Spain YouTube account still had their trailer publicly listed. It had since been privated. Most people weren't buying the spokesperson was selling with YouTuber Ryan Kennel stating, after two years, it looks like whatever iteration this was in is completely and totally dead so bad they deleted any mention of their social media that they're busy making the videos private on YouTube. Anyway, what do you make of the announcement from Jeff Grubb? Were you looking forward to this game? Were you 
Afraid that it's going to be woke for modern audiences as many reports were coming out about it. Let me know down in the comment section what you believe. And hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. All right, until next time, take care.